tonight marks just the fourth ever league meeting between Exeter and Derby. The home side's only victory over the Rams came 91 years ago, the first ever meeting in the 1931 FA Cup. Harper has to pull on the overlap and has Ibu Adams throwing out the shoulder and preventing any way through. Wilson. Collins in the middle, Wilson goes for the chop and then wriggles his way past, it's James Collins! And he didn't quite find the connection he needed. I'm well, very surprised the referee hasn't given a foul when Wilson goes past a defender in a 1v1, knocks it past him, I thought the defender held him up. There's the little pull, there's not enough. Picks out Collins, nine times out of ten, you'd fancy Collo getting the contact. Skinner picked off by Bird, read that really well. Bird's got a lot of work to do, little tug there, referee playing advantage, Bird's waiting for support, he might go for goal himself! Oh, Max Bird, you beauty! What a run he's been on! And it's the quality from Bird to give Derby the lead. It's a lovely solo goal from Max Bird. At times when you need a little bit of quality, he can often provide it. He had no right to win that ball and drive forward. Cuts back inside, there's a good run, I think, from Elder to entertain a couple of the defenders. He hits it hard and low across the goalkeeper into that far corner. Nobody goes tight, it gives him enough space and he puts it in the back of the net. Cole, Issa found its way through, Aitchison to shoot, the woodwork saves Derby. Well, it's too easy to get the shot off for Exeter around the edge of the box, nobody's tight enough, switch off from a throw in, not tight enough on the edge, look how easy this is for Exeter. The shot's hard and low, beats Wildsmith but comes off the outside of the post, moments like that. With the ball's out of play, it's a throw-in, get your shape, get your structure, don't get beat, don't allow them time on the ball. Nelson, looking for Bird, found Bird in the end, didn't quite drop for Derby, but Wilson has won it back, Bird's asking for it on the far side, Bird again from a distance, and this time Sinisalo does make the save. He'll have to take it a little bit quicker, Max Bird, well won back from Wilson, it's just Behind him, touch at his feet, it was always going to go for goal. Harper with the defensive header. Here's Elder. He's a long way out, Callum Elder! Yet to score for Derby. That one pushed away by Sinisalo. Decent strike from Elder, from distance, 25, 30 yards. Collins bowled over there by Jules. Bird hooks it ahead, and Mendes Lang is onto it, and Derby have the chance for a second, and Nathaniel Mendes Lang takes it as he always seems to do. Derby double their lead at St James of Hart Park, and look what it means to them. That's a brilliant, brilliant goal for Mendes Lang. Pace, power and precision. He read the flick on, the ball over the top. Here it comes again. Max Bird just finds a little space and then look at that electrifying pace, brilliant touch and what a finish that was as well. I was expecting him to dink it over the keeper, but he takes it early on his right foot, outside of the boot, into the back of the net. A wonderful goal from a wonderful player who's having quite a remarkable season.
Banyo Mendes, Lang Hudson for a third. He's found Tom Barkhazen. Plenty of blue shirts arriving. Barkhazen goes himself! Derby have a third! It's a party down in Devon now! It's another brilliant goal as well. Played out to that left-hand side. Max Bird, Mendes Lang involved once again. And the touch from Barkhazen was perfection. He needed a little bit of space to get it back onto his right-hand side and get away from the defender. What a finish it was into that far corner. Here it is again, the little flick from Max Bird. Mendes Lang lands on it. Great ball into Barkhazen. So touch, look at this second touch away from the defender inside the pitch onto his favoured right foot and he finds that far corner. Rankin, great tackle from Elder. The brilliantly, the derby left back. Birds kept it in. He's found Barkhazen. Mendes Lang's away down the middle. He's got a bit of work to do. Defender trying to get back. Mendes Lang. <laughs> well, we won't put that one on the highlight reel, Matt. <laughs> it was a wonderful move. Starts with Elder in the corner, wins his duel, finds a pass. It's brilliant work once again from Max Bird. Barkhazen spots the run of Mendes Lang, who's thoroughly enjoying himself in the second half. Look how much space he's got. Queening, give and go with Carroll. Rankin's cross, hard and low. Finds Issa, Aitchison, Issa, chance here. And Ibu Adams in the way. Look at that reaction. We've talked about his reaction before, Owen, when he's frustrated and when he's disappointed. This is brilliant. It's a good play from Exeter, little reverse pass. Look at Adams, how quickly it gets across the ground to make a wonderful... Wonderful block. Rankin. Decent ball over. Agenson wasn't able to get any purchase on it. Else that might have been that consolation goal for the home side. He's been two or three really good blocks and tackles, Sonny Bradley, since he's come onto the pitch. Rankin again. Crossing again. Missing this time is Sonny Cox. Well, Rankin has been the player for Exeter in this second half that's always looking to threaten. Down that right-hand side a couple of times in the last five or six minutes. He's had the better of Elder. And there's the final whistle. A fabulous away performance from Derby County and a deserved three points as the Rams notch up their 11th away win of this League One campaign.